Red Dust and Long Night's Journey Today video blog essay. The topic of um, Red Dust and Long Night's Journey Today is Truth and Reconciliation Committee, also known as the TRC. And the following things are, are what I've learned about the TRC, because um, prior to watching this, I didn't know anything about the TRC. And I've learned that um, it was a court case and um, like scenario assembled uh, in South Africa once apartheid had finished and people that had caused violence could give a testimony and request amnesty um, from the prosecution that they were about to receive. Um, people might have been given amnesty if it was found out that the crime was caused by um, politics and it, uh, and what led them to do it was politically motivated and nothing but the truth was told. Um, and the main purpose of this uh, was to promote reconciliation and forgiveness among perpetrators and victims of violence. Um, Probably the most important thing that has made the biggest impact on me personally is how it would have been really difficult for somebody standing there to listen to somebody giving a testimony about why it was okay that they have killed and um, their family and, and then how they want to be letting off with it. But there's nothing that can be done to, forget, to truly forget and reverse what has happened. Um, so the TRC was successful and unsuccessful in many ways. Um, um, I found a statistic that states that 5,292 people refused amnesty and only 849 were granted amnesty out of 7,112 pe petitioners. Um, Desmond Tutu thinks that, that the TRC was successful because um, it provided the world with another justice tool in the struggle against impunity and the search for justice and peace. And he also thinks that it laid the foundation for building reconciliation amongst all South Africans. This image to me was really impactful because it was conveyed through a medium shot and um, basically it shows evil, torture because of the redness and you can see the blood stains. And this film um, sorry, this image kept on occurring and, and it made me feel really sad because it must have been so horrible and, and I can't imagine what it was like, that person who was suffering under torture. Uh, um, another image that, um, which I found really difficult to look at and watch was, toward, um, was towards the end when a skeleton is pulled from the ground and assembled um, and this family, well this couple have to watch their son um, being pulled from the ground and all is there is his bones. Overall, the idea of forgiveness has changed for me after watching this um, two films because prior to watching this, I thought that forgiveness was people um, asking for them to be forgiven and saying sorry for these heavy crimes such as stealing your lunchbox or for hurting you or something. But after watching this TRC, I've learned that people wanted to be forgive and they wanted to be excused from doing serious crimes, um, such as killing and murdering, and um, that could really never be reversed and forgotten about. But um, but this has conveyed to me that there's two levels of forgiveness. There's a one that is unserious, um, which involves petty crimes, and then there's Beneath that is much more serious and people wanting um, to move on to the future and to be um, and to no longer have guilt for doing such serious crimes such as murdering.